I hate to say it, but if you haven't started, then it's really time to think about Christmas. Now, hopefully you're on top of your Christmas shopping, but have you yet given any thought to your Christmas dinner? Now, I've offered to cook this year, and I don't know about you, but I think that's a huge responsibility, with meat taking centre stage for any Christmas dinner. Now, I don't know what to do. Shall I cook turkey, or should I try something different altogether? And it seems that I'm not alone in my panicking. Recent research shows that around three quarters of us stress when it comes to cooking and preparing those Christmas dinners. I'm in need of some help, so I booked a 10 minute consultation with my local Q Guild butcher. So, Danny, I wonder if you can help me out. I'm cooking Christmas dinner this year for eight people. What size bird would I need? For eight adults, you're putting in a five kilo bird. It'll give you a little bit of leftover as well for maybe Boxing Day sandwiches, unexpected guests. If some of them are children, it'll give you even more leftover, but it'll cover it easily. And there are different types, aren't there? The main two different types are the bronze turkey and the white feather turkey. The bronze turkey tends to be more mature, slightly more flavour. Both can be free range or organic, as well as mass produced, but both birds are good birds. What's the difference between a dry plucked bird and a wet plucked bird? Really, in appearance, the, the dry plucked will last a little bit longer because it has, it's more natural the way it's been plucked by hand. And what about the cooking time? Because that's a big turkey potentially I could be cooking. The cooking time should only be around about two and a half hours. I can give you a thermometer to test it and it should come out just perfectly. Let it rest for a little bit before carving it. Use the giblets, make a nice stock, add a little bit of corn flour and the flavours will really give you a nice gravy. What about alternatives? My brother's quite adventurous and he always wants to try something different. Many people now, especially with struggling with other spaces, tend to um, try doing the turkey in a barbecue, and it can give you a slightly smokier flavour in the barbecue or an alternative. You can also do things like gammons and hams with the turkey itself, so if someone doesn't like poultry that much, they've got more options to, to use. What about for Christmas Eve? It's a busy time, so perhaps an easier cut. Something like a roasting joint, especially if you've got a lot of people around, it's quite easy. Maybe a roast beef, a leg of lamb. You can do a gammon or ham and it's good for sandwiches as well. But generally a big piece of meat which you can carve easily. So we've had turkey on Christmas Day, really tasty, perhaps a little bit expensive. So what about a less expensive option for Boxing Day? You could have something like a rolled loin of pork, or if you want to do a buffet you could do some cooked meat, salamis, or if you want to do something maybe like a pipe, very popular at the moment, especially in the cold weather. Now, I have put some thought into potentially going for duck this year, but with eight people, is that going to be an expensive option? It probably will, because the turkeys are much meatier birds. You get a lot more meat to the bone ratio of the turkey. You'll end up cooking quite a few ducks with uh, eight people. So you might be better off with a turkey. Danny, I feel so much more relaxed about this already. Thank you for your help. Can I choose my meat now? Yes, that's no problem at all. Q Guild represents some of Britain's best butchers with 140 members across the UK. So if you're feeling a bit worried like I was, having a consultation like this really does make things an awful lot easier. It's free and all the butchers are more than happy to help. So not only will you be getting a quality service, but you'll be getting quality meat too. Enjoy and good luck with your Christmas turkey or any other meat that you decide to go for.